Nonprofits, governments, funders and financers of social services are often driven by a common goal, to help people and strengthen communities. Yet, is the current funding system hindering progress towards that goal? Take, for example, Jack. Jack has no job or permanent place to live, largely because of his struggles with severe clinical depression. So most days, Jack's best hope is a shelter called the Output Center. The Output Center takes him in, but they have no funding to get him treatment. In fact, he's been staying with them on and off for the past three years and not getting any better. The Output Center's funding is based solely on providing a safe and clean nightly shelter. While they're very good at what they do, this funding model means they can't focus their resources on treating the underlying causes of homelessness, like Jack's illness. Like so many organizations, they are funded based on outputs. Outputs are the measure of an organization's activities. For the center, that means the number of clients housed each night. This outputs-based funding model comes with conditions that make it hard for the shelter to focus on addressing underlying issues like clinical depression. Because of this model, Jack doesn't receive the treatment that would help him in the longer term, and so the cycle of homelessness continues. Now, let's look at a different approach. One day, Jack goes to a different shelter called the Outcome Center. Here, a staffer points him to Maya, a counselor who can begin treating Jack's illness. The Outcome Center has funding to invest in professionals, such as Maya, that help Jack and others like him overcome the very problem that brought him to the shelter in the first place. The center's belief is that with treatment of this sort, Jack will get and keep permanent housing. The difference here is a focus on outcomes rather than outputs. Outcomes are the tangible results that a shelter achieves and can measure, such as the number of clients they transition into permanent housing, who stay there for at least a year. The Outcome Center's outcomes-based funding allows them to address Jack's illness and put him on a sustainable path to recovery. This concept changes the way we think about funding and success. It reorients the funder-grantee relationship around long-term results. Nonprofits get the space to innovate to tackle social problems. And most importantly, Jack has the support he needs to live a healthier life. To solve big problems, we need long-term solutions. An outcomes approach lets schools focus not just on how many students are in their classrooms, but on getting their students to graduate. It lets hospitals focus not just on how many patients they see and how often, but on whether or not those patients get healthy. We all want to get the most out of social sector spending, so it's up to all of us to deliver better outcomes for Jack and all communities by rewarding providers for the long-term value they create. Visit investinresults.org to join the conversation. Thank you.